Okay, folks, in video world, you may wonder what kind of foolishness has Tony been up to? Well, awesome foolishness here lately. This is pretty cool. Um, the people at Cam Pro sent me a, a kit to try out, and it would include this great handle, right? I think I showed you last week. I'm looking for the box. I have so much stuff around here. This was the Cam Pro uh, handle kit from GoPro Hero 3. It had a bunch of really cool configurations of things that you could, could do with it. And so I put a, a review on uh, YouTube just to show you all the different things that they say you can do. You see, see some of those pictures there. And you go back and watch that review if you want to see more about it. But, of course, I'm sure they didn't intend for people to do what they do, what I'm doing with this. But I'm going to show you one of the most useful things, I think. This has sort of been a configuration that I've been wanting to do for a while. A, a really awesome camera like this Canon HF G10. And then still have a GoPro Hero 3 on top of it. So there's a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. So let's say I want to turn this baby on, and it is on, and I'm in wide field of view, 1080p 60, and I want to turn on this Canon here. Awesome. So let's say the scenario is I'm at a place like Linville Gorge or Crabtree Falls, someplace in the beautiful high Appalachians, and so I want to shoot these awesome panoramas and things, right? I can start the GoPro recording, and I'm going to just kind of shoot a little bit of my guitar over here in the corner. And then let's say that the guitar is a hawk or a falcon or something. I want to zoom in on that hawk or falcon. You know, there we go. I'm looking at the, the, the uh, toggle switch on this old uh, guitar, the old hollow body guitar that I've got here. Let's take a look at the pickups or something. I have the best of both worlds, don't I? I can, I can use this. This is a very light configuration. This is a Manfrotto monopod. It has this awesome kind of a thick sort of thing on it that folds up. I've done a video about this too. I can't remember the, I can't remember the model. Oh, this is a 561 BHDV. So these are the little feet, you know, they, they fold up and then this whole thing telescopes out so I could set it up. This, this is gonna be my kind of my hiking configuration from here on. So let's say I want to shoot any video here and get some good wide angles or get like some A, B at the same time. I'll get wide angles and then I want to get uh, tight angles too. I have that possibility here now. So I'm gonna look at a can of Diet Coke over here. So, and so I'll zoom in and show you guys how that's gonna work. So there, I've got all the awesome zoomability of the Canon HF G10, which is just great. But the Canon HF G10, it's uh, slid out as wide as it can possibly go, does not touch what the GoPro Hero 3 does, right? So what did I have to do to make this happen? Well, it turns out, you know, the only downside if you're a Canon user, the Canons come with a mini shoe, not a large standard size hot shoe. So don't throw off on the Cam Pro guys. They're giving you the actual size that's most usable, the most universal size. But if you're a Canon user, you're gonna have to buy a little, uh, like a $5 adapter, and maybe, maybe it's more like $8 off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it. That your little adapter that you can slide in there and then the hot shoe for the uh, Cam Pro will fit into that. So this is not all, of course, that came with the Cam Pro. I love these pieces of plastic, though. Look at that. See, GoPro doesn't give you those kind of weird shapes there, that those kind of, like I say, strange sizes of, of plastic. I don't know why they don't. They should. And, you know, so there, you know, GoPro, these people have thought more about sizes and shapes that people out in the real world will use than you guys have. So, you know, good job. Jolly good job there, you folks who... Uh, are you know thinking more about what real people out in the real world might use or need so i like that a whole lot the other thing of course that came with this which i've and you know folks i'm going to probably show you 15 different configurations of things that i'm going to do with this because it really is pretty uh, useful the other thing of course that came with it was the handle and so here is the uh here is the handle that came with it and there's all kinds of different configurations again i've been using a little cheap handle that I, that came with my zoom h2 to mount my gopros onto but i like this because i can get the camera a little bit in front and, and, and i don't know this it just fit let me show you how this looks this is not a steady cam at all or not at, at all so you know a lot of people are really hung up on shooting video super steady these days and they're buying all kinds of steady cams and devices and I have some crazy little things that I've created. This is my new, my old steady cam that I use with a weight on it. It actually helps a lot. And I have my little 3D rig up here where I can shoot 3D video. So um, I have a bit of video about that on my on my GoPro or my on my YouTube channel as well. But 
I don't worry so much about shooting steady as I, uh, or about having a steady cam device as just trying to shoot steady myself. Well, I can tell you right now, this feels pretty good. I mean, I can pan about a room and that feels pretty nice. And so what I try to do is just not get in too big a hurry when I'm shooting my video. I'm gonna pan over this guitar again here. And those of you watching this will see that that is not, you know, total perfect smoothness, but it's watchable. You know, one thing I would say is just practice shooting smoothly. If you want smooth shots, uh, practice just moving your hands and trying, you know, I guess what I do is I try to get in one of those Zen moments, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really, I'm not full of crap. I really try to breathe out and just let my arms be the steady cam sometimes. And I'll be honest, that feels great. Now, uh, so there's lots of things I could do to configure this and there's a way that you can put your cell phone on there to be a, a mobile device that is wi-fi into this right so that you can see it i don't do that kind of thing a whole lot but what i am going to do is this these are so lightweight you can buy this at walmart for 15 dollars. it's a targus what is it tgmp 6710 right there you go this thing honestly folks if it weighs two ounces i'll be surprised it is so incredibly light and what I love about this little baby right here is it has, you know, forgive me, I've got, when I dig in the dirt, I get an allergy. It makes my skin peel. So I have some, some split skin on my hand. You hope that doesn't gross anybody out. But this little baby has a threaded uh, hole in the bottom here that's just like what, what would fit on top of this, right? So here's what I plan to do. I'll be able to shoot, like say I want to shoot a mushroom or I want to shoot a flower or whatever like that. I want to shoot a bee or something up really close. I'll be able to come in real tight and shoot that with my hand. Or if I want to go in and shoot up in a tree, let's say I see a bird's nest or something, right? Or a really cool hornet's nest or something. I'll just do this kind of deal. Pop these babies out. And you can't see how high this is going to go. But the ceiling here in my sunroom is about 14 feet high. And I still can't get quite up there that high. I'm probably about 12 feet high now. So there you go. That's going to be pretty sweet, folks. So I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, sw swing out over the edge of cliffs and do some kind of almost like crane type shots here. I do a whole lot of this with a uh, big golf ball retriever that you've probably seen before. You've seen me do that. But I used to use one of these a lot Went back before I got the golf ball retriever. And I have to say that it's so light and compact that I probably will stay, keep doing this this method again, um, particularly if I'm going hiking, because it's also almost really a good hiking stick. So yeah, the Cam Pro is going to be awesome. Uh, it, it, it's like I say, it's it's very good hardware, and I've got GoPro hardware on this one. I have uh, the Cam Pro. You see the little red uh, things there? Those are actually the little uh, pegs that you screw in are much more sturdy than the ones that come with the GoPro, although they're, they're not bad. And, but I like, I like the things that I'm able to do with this. So you're gonna see, once again, I say some, some additional configurations that I'm gonna be using. But I think when I go out in the field now, I'm gonna definitely have the handle with the stick, then I'm gonna have this monopod, this whole thing right here with the cannon on it and with the uh, Hero 3 Plus, all together probably weighs about six pounds. This might weigh four or five ounces. So I think this is going to be my configuration out in the field now when I go to shoot hiking videos and things like that. Folks, I hope you enjoy uh, the little video. I hope I'm turning you on to some cool things. The people at CamPro did send me this for free to test. I think it's about 45 or 50 bucks for the whole set. It's probably worth it. That handle just feels fantastic. It's super stout. Um, you know, they're not paying me to do this. I wish they would. They probably should, but no, I, I don't do paid endorsements. But I do tell you when I think something's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The other thing I've not told you about yet, of course, I think I did maybe in the other video, is that these there's all these little threaded holes in these, and I haven't even begun to think what I might do with that. You know, uh, there's, the one thing that comes to mind is there's got to be some way that I could be shooting forward and probably a GoPro mounted into that hole, right? Shooting backward. So wouldn't that be cool if I can do my commentary while I'm shooting some really cool video? I think that would be pretty cool. So that's kind of what I'm gonna think of. I'm gonna see if I can't figure out some way to utilize that 
to shoot a backward angle with the uh, GoPro. So like I say, once again, I don't figure people like the folks at CamPro uh, intend for people like me, crazy people like me, to do the things that I do with their products. But thanks for making it. Uh, when I first saw it, a lot of things came to my mind that were not on your box. And so I'm going to be experimenting. I'll do the things that are on your box as well just to see how well they work. But for me in my house, we like to experiment. We like to come up with crazy, cool, different, uh, and strange, unusual ways to shoot video just to tell our stories in the world in, a, in an unusual and fun and, you know, slightly off-kilter way. So, folks, hopefully that's helped. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if any of you own the Cam Pro stuff, tell me what you think about it and how it works for you. I'm going to go out in the field hopefully this weekend or the next couple of weeks. The weather's been horrible here. In the, by that, I mean a lot of rain. It's been cold. It's been somewhat warm. I've been worn out going back and forth up and down the road to Charlotte, not being able to blog quite the way I wanted to blog, not be able to get out in the nature, but that's going to change. I'm going to make, I'm going to make time to get out and do some really cool blogging and show you all some uh, more of the grandeur of Western North Carolina. So peace to all. Cheers. Thanks. Send me any comments you got. Subscribe if you like to. Uh, ask me any questions and I will try to answer those questions because that is the kind of guy I am. Y'all take it easy. Love you. <laughs> mean it. <laughs>